Hey, here's a fantastic little gift idea that'll teach you a thing or two about science. The Dunking Drinking Bird. This thing has been mesmerizing both young and old for over 50 years. In fact, this bird was also featured on a classic Simpsons episode. It's drinking the water! It's also called the happy bird, the lucky bird, the bobbing bird, the happy, lucky, dippy, bobbing, drinking bird. My one is simply called Mr. Dippy Sippy. I could literally watch Mr. Dippy Sippy for hours on end as he magically bobs up and down perpetually, seemingly forever and ever, drinking the clear liquid nectar known as water. But the question is, how does it work? Is it really magical? Or is there some kind of science behind Mr. Dippy Sippy? Well, let's explain how he's made. Take away the legs, the tail feather, the beak, the top hat, and those eyes that stare and won't stop staring. And what you've got left is two glass bulbs that's connected by a straight glass tube. One glass bulb is smaller, this one is the head, and the glass tube extends into the bottom larger bulb, this one is the body. So you have two glass chambers. Now, inside this glass structure is a special liquid that is magical. Actually it's not, but it is a special liquid called methylene chloride, and it's highly volatile. So don't drop the thing on the ground or else your house will blow up. Actually it won't. Methylene chloride is commonly used as an industrial cleaner, degreaser, and paint remover. So when I say volatile, I mean that it simply evaporates really fast. In fact, its boiling point is around 40 degrees Celsius and it vaporizes very fast at room temperature compared to, say, water. When methylene chloride is added into the glass tubes at a factory, the air is sucked out and the glass is sealed up. And you're left with a near vacuum within those tubes. Now add on the legs, which make the pivot point, the tail feather, because he's a good looking rooster, the top hat for style, the felt beak, and those eyes, those staring eyes. And you have Mr. Dippy Sippy. So what happens is that when Mr. Dippy Sippy felt beak is dipped into water, it becomes wet. And then a very strange thing begins to occur. The fluid in the body begins to rise upward into Mr. Dippy Sippy's head until his head fills with liquid. Then his head becomes top heavy, making his center of gravity higher, causing Mr. Dippy Sippy to topple over and take another drink, kind of like some people at your local bar. The liquid then flows back down into the bottom bulb, making the center of gravity lower, and Mr. Dippy resumes his upright position and the whole process begins all over again. Yay! So the question is, how does the liquid inside get sucked up? Well, the truth is that it isn't sucked up at all. It's pushed up. Let me explain this deep mystery of the universe. When the head of Mr. Dippy Sippy is wet, the water will immediately begin to evaporate, as long as the humidity of the room is not 100%. And evaporation always causes cooling. Just like when you sweat, sweating doesn't cool you, but the evaporation of the sweat from your body does. So this evaporation causes Mr. Dippy Sippy's head to cool which causes the methylene chloride vapor in the head to condense, kind of like steam condensing on a cold glass surface. And what this does is it causes pressure to drop within Mr. Dippy Sippy's head. Now when pressure drops at one end, it means pressure increases at the other. So this pressure difference causes the liquid to be pushed up from the base. And when Mr. Dippy Sippy tips over, the bottom end of the tube rises up above the surface of the liquid in the bottom bulb, and a bubble of vapor rises up the tube, displacing the liquid, and the methylene chloride flows back down to the bottom bulb. The vapor pressure again is equalized between top and bottom, and Mr. Dippy Sippy rises back up to his feet, because this guy is one tough bird. And this goes on forever, and ever, and ever. Actually, it doesn't. Mr. Dippy Sippy will only do his thing as long as you feed him. Not bread, mate, but water. That's all he wants. That's all he needs. He's so easy to please, just like me. Yep, I absolutely love my Mr. Dippy Sippy. Anyways, I hope you found this video interesting and have a better understanding of how the mysterious Mr. Dippy Sippy works. These are great gifts for people. They cost around 15 to 20 Australian dollars. And uh, if you're interested, I've got an Amazon link in the description area if you want to buy one for yourself or for a loved one at the very cheapest possible price that I could find. Anyways, till the next video, ciao. Nuts to that. I'm going to the movies. Shouldn't you be working?
I got someone to cover for me.